future for any astronaut. However, there are consequences to the human body of living in a weightless environment. Every single organ system in the body is affected in one way or another. So, food and nutrition play an important role in helping us to maintain proper human physiology in a weightless environment. In particular, we're concerned about the effect of weightlessness on muscles and on bones. So a lot of the food items that we'll describe to you today are high in protein content. That's important and a little bit different than how we would normally eat on Earth. Well, we have different types of foods. First of all, we have some Russian food. They are usually coming like this in cans. So this is a, a can like you can find in any store, basically. Uh, uh, this one is uh, meat and vermicelli, for example. Uh, and those cans you can eat, eat up in a Russian oven. We have also other type of food, which is uh, sublimated food. These are kind of package, uh, packages uh, from which all the water has been uh, withdrawn. And then how, we, how do you prepare this food? Well, we just simply add hot water. A little bit like uh, you have instant soups or uh, instant meals that you can prepare on ground. Other types of food are thermal stabilized food. This is food which has uh, been cooked and prepared and then sealed in an airtight uh, envelope uh, and treated with uh, high temperature or perhaps with radiation so that no bacteria can divide or reproduce inside the food. This type of food has a shelf life of many, many, many months. The example that I just showed you uh, was homemade potatoes. Yes, and then of course there are also the drinks. We also need to drink uh, here on board of the uh, ISS. Drinking, of course, we cannot do uh, out of a cup because uh, with weightlessness, everything would just float out. So that's why we have this type of drinking bags. Uh, also inside, this is a chocolate drink, for example. It's some instant uh, chocolate uh, drink. And then we fill it up with water, and then we attach a small straw with actually a lock on the straw so that nothing keeps floating out and we can keep it well confined inside. And then we can just drink out of the straw like uh, out of an uh, ordinary bag. Food comes up to us in containers like, like these here. The ones with the red label uh, are, contain uh, Russian food items. The ones with the blue label contain um, food from the United States or one of the other Western uh, partner agencies. Frank is opening a container of um, rehydrated uh, fruit. He'll open it very carefully with a pair of scissors. As long as the food sticks to itself, it's safe to be uh, opened up. Liquids will need to be um, eaten or drank with a, with a straw. One of the examples of the bonus food that I have here in front of me is a uh, sausage, for example, uh, Italian sausage, which is, of course, uh, very nice uh, to eat, which I share with uh, all my crewmates. Uh, Bob brought already for uh, tonight some uh, clams. Uh, and this is always, uh, of course, in favor, and as I said, uh, eating on board of the space station, like Earth, but even more so here, I think, is a very social occasion. So most of our bonus food uh, and goodies that we have, we share with our crewmates, because it's more a pleasure to share than to enjoy it by yourself. All of the bonus food items all need to be flight qualified. That means that the food scientists will test that they don't contain any uh, microbial uh, contamination that, that might cause ill health amongst uh, astronauts. Frank is enjoying his um, medley of berries, and I'm going to try some thermal stabilized pears. Every package that we open is eaten up completely. We don't waste any food here because it's uh, uh, very expensive to bring the food up to the space station. And then once the packages are empty, we pack them as small as we can, and then we put them in one of those little bags that uh, Bob can show here. Uh, also these bags we put as full as we can, and then once they are full, then they go into the progress, and then they burn up on the re-entry uh, to Earth. At the from the International Space Station, we hope you find the subject of food and nutrition aboard the International Space Station interesting. Goodbye.